paradise video i hope you guys are doing great so today we have a lot of stuff to check out this this uh today's update um so we have the uh, new hodge race here that you can do with the lusitano the pasofino or the Andalusian. so we'll go ahead and check this out um i am going to be doing it right now with the pasofino so let's go ahead and begin so here we go. Let's talk to Guillermo Gadea. Hello there, my name. Wait, sorry. Hello there. My, is this riding hall fancy or what? I mean, yes. It's like the only riding hall in, you know, Jorvik, sort of. But my name is Guillermo Gadea, and I'm one of the founders of the Hodge Focus Races. Hodge is short for Horses of Jorvik, if you didn't know. It's a small organization started a while back in honor of our beautiful horses here on Jorvik. My pals and I host these focus races for specific horse breeds or breeds with similar attributes. We think it's a perfect way for people to meet and bond over their love for horses. So this is basically what he says every time he opens a Hodge race. You know, something that I was actually surprised about this was how um, Star Stable had this Hodge race over in Jorvik Stables. And then the week after, when he leaves, he comes straight to Jorvik. I mean, sorry, the um, the arena. So that hasn't really happened before that the Hodge is like the week after, like a couple, like a month after it's back again. So that is actually a surprise. And here we have, so yeah, like I said before, you need to, um, to do this um, Hodge race. You need an Andalusian, a Lusitano, or Paso Fino. So, um, yeah. And if you want to enter the competition, just come and talk to me or grab a friend and start a race by signing up in the Nordus board here beside me. Okay, so let's go ahead and begin. Uh, I really hope to see you race soon. You can enter this race with an Andalusian, Lusitano, or Pasofino. Ready? Let's go. All right, and this race gives you 500 horse XP and 20 shillings. So let's see how this race turns out, or this little kind of like, you know. Okay. And yeah, let's see. Wish me luck, you guys. Okay, there's a lot of people here doing dressage. I, oh my god. <laughs> goodness i'm really bad at this okay wait what okay this is like okay <laughs> that was kind of weird race like oh my god look at everyone doing their swash here the winter troopers people doing their swash and we have looked at all those Pertrons over there. What group is this? Ice Tornadoes. Shout out to Ice Tornadoes and um, and Winter Troopers. Shout out to all of y'all. Um, you guys do amazing dressage. All right. This is a very twisty race, to be honest. Like, there's some barrel racing in here, kind of. <laughs> okay. Okay, come on, speed up. Oh, okay. So, that was pretty quick. All right. So, let's go ahead and talk to Guillermo and see what he says. I think we did pretty good. But... <laughs> Okay, I love seeing your horse in action. Feel free to come back here whenever you'd like, but remember this won't, this race won't stay here for long. All right, you guys, so again, you can come here daily for 500 horse XP. Okay, so our next thing to do in the to-do list, um, well, there is actually a main story quest, a story snack over in the fields, um, in the Forgotten Fields with um the growing sapling so you guys can go ahead and check that out but we're gonna go ahead and head over to fur grove to see the new morgan horses that came out today 
and you guys they are absolutely stunning and now you guys i am too broken star stable to actually buy anything right now for i only have 463 star coins so yeah <laughs> Also, if you guys didn't know, next week we will be getting a lot of horse discounts for the next three weeks, I believe. So I'm actually going to be saving up for one of the horses discounted. And next I will be buying the Morgan horse. So we're going to go ahead and head over to Fur Grove and check that horse out because it is absolutely stunning. I totally recommend this horse if you guys have 850 star coins. So anyways, let's head over to Fur Grove and yeah, I'll see you guys there. Alright, so we're here in Fur Grove and look someone already has the morgan so this is actually the morgan i want so this is the coat color i want for the morgan but anyways here we are with the morgans here in fur oh you guys let me know down below what you guys think about these horses they are gorgeous for me so okay so let's begin with the first one so this is um a gen 3 morgan it is really pretty and let's go ahead and check out the gates for this horse we have the walk the trot the canter the gallop and the fast gallop and actually something that i haven't actually noticed is that this horse doesn't have a special move which is pretty upsetting i love horses with special moves but um it is totally okay that this doesn't have one it's okay um, also, another one that I love is this, like, glossy, like, white, creamy color. I think it is super simple, but amazing, you guys. I love just, like, I love simple cool colors. But, yes, this one is also one of my favorites. Then we have this one. Again, this isn't kind of the simple I like. This is too, like, I don't know. I just feel like the colors don't go together, but that is just my opinion. Our next horse is this like hazel color. Now this one is nice if you're into like bayish um, hazel caramel color. So this one is actually nice too. And now for my absolute favorite, it's like the Pinto. I uh, love it. Let me see if, if I can think of another horse breed with this kind of like marking. Um, I don't know. I was out. I, I don't know why I came up with my mind like with a Marwari, but amar wari doesn't have this coat color like let me know down below if you guys know any um horse breeds with this coat color probably like a gauntland also this horse kind of remind me like a gauntland pony Th these horses look like a pony don't you guys think like kind of look like a gauntland pony not gonna lie um but that is just my opinion but yes this one is my absolute favorite new gen 3 morgan obsessed with this coat color and then our very last this one is just like the gauntlet coat color um so yeah let's go ahead and check out the main styles which i think there's a new main style in this one so we have the classic braids and also braids the tail which is, i love that star stable did that like they used to only braid the top and not the bottom like you know tail but now they're doing the tail whenever the um hair is braided so that is awesome we have the absolutely shaved, like no hair, um, except for the tail, obviously. And then we have my favorite, the long braids. I love the long braids on these horses. We have like the little bus cut, like the mohawk kind of, which is really cute. I love the mohawks for the American paint horses. They're really cute. And then we have this one, like a little... Um, like the thrower bread hairstyle so that is it for the morgans you can get the morgans here in fur grove like all of them um for le at level nine and eight 850 star coins but then there is actually one more in fort pinta that i totally forgot about so let's head over to Fort Pinta and check out the last coat color. And in Fort Pinta, you can get them from level one. So let's go ahead and head over there. Alrighty, so we are here in the Fort Pinta. Um, yeah, we're here in Fort Pinta. And let's go ahead and check out the um, Morgan here. So again, this is a black um, with like white hair or something like that 
But again, like this isn't the type of horse I would want, but it is a very pretty coat color. It's nice. And of course, um, the same gaze and everything. Oh, um, sorry, and um, hairstyles. Um, but here you can get it um, at level one. So if you're like level six and you really want a Morgan and you don't really care about the coat color, or if you guys love this coat color, you can go ahead and buy it here for 850 star coins. So yeah, that is pretty much it for today's video. Um, yeah, it was a couple of stuff new, like there were the Morgans, there was the Hodge race, and there was the new uh, main story quest. So here we go, the nurturing the life warden with Linda and the Forgotten Fields, like I said earlier. And um, what was I gonna say? Today is the last week for that, so maybe next week um, we will get um, an actual main story quest. So, yeah, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I would totally appreciate it. And I'm actually going to do a 600 sub special, um, a short. Um, again, thank you guys so much for that. I really appreciate it. And, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And, yeah, bye, everybody.